this is my input image and output image you see it's drawing the we are gonna learn about convex hull this function finds the convex hull of a set of points and according to this algorithm based on this algorithm and it gives us the external point of the input point sets you are giving to this function it will give us the most external points for example let's look at to this point set it gives us as output these surrounded points which is the external points of this set and also same for the others it will give us to this external points as output okay let's pass to the code part before passing i'm gonna try these examples these these three example i'm gonna try Maybe this is not opening because it was before it was PNG format. Okay, like this. And we are gonna uh, try to find the corners, ex external corners belongs to each picture. Okay. And here what I'm doing, let me try to explain shortly. First of all, I'm getting the input, which is in the grayscale. It would be better. You can use also in three channel but it's better at as a beginning grayscale image better and here we have set of points also not really points but for example you can consider this point but it inside since it's not really small it has it has different points inside each uh, each one has different points inside so I will try to find the convex hull points of that points first of all I'm thresholding to be able to if uh, the each pixel is smaller than 50 so I'm making them 0 and otherwise I'm making them 255 thresholding them according to trash binary flag and this is my point array to be able to keep all of the white pixel inside the image inside that one and I'm checking all of the image and if the pixel is equal to 255 and then pushing back to this not to this one but the temporary one after that temporary array is being pushed to the points array and I'm getting my input in this one and but I need also output array to be able to put convex hull so let's use it first of all we need to call convex hull function okay and the points input points we are gonna give points the zeroth element which is temp and then also we need to give the output which will give us the output of the these functions and then the other one we can talk later and this is the input point set and this is gonna give us the output point set to draw how it looks like let's draw it how to that let's, we already learned the draw functions and draw counters taking image let's say out what was the output image okay is also image then the contours is gonna be drawn points out zero then it's gonna be minus one draw all of the points there will be only one point one contour actually then the scalar will be 205 because this is this is grayscale image a thickness 3 and let's try okay most probably cause of this yeah and here we are we are we see now the this is input and this is the these are the output point of the convex hull function so i'm just combining them and drawing them and you see now the this is surrounded of the point set of array input and we can try this function for other images also for example this is my input image and output image you see it's drawing the drawing the convex hull point set according to convex hull point set output is drawing surrounded of hand and after that maybe three let's try to see the three three already we see one one was this is for example it's also drawing the surrounded surrounded uh, points accordingly and what else we need to talk we can also talk about these two functions these two parameters but uh, 
this is just this one important if the flag is true which is default by true the function returns convex hull points otherwise it returns indices of the convex hull points so mostly is true is better to use as we used clockwise is not important it's just giving output for example uh, accordingly not to this part or otherwise part the order of the point array is not such important so in this video we simply learned about convex hull function and its output see you in the next videos